What's up guys? So uh, I'm back with another video and I'm sorry I haven't uploaded in so long. I think it's been around a month or two. Right when I stopped uploading track season started and uh, I've just been focused on track and school and I haven't had much time to do uh, much else. So that's my fault but I'm going to be trying to get these shoe reviews and videos back out to you guys again. So yeah I hope you guys enjoy the video. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Brooks GTS 18. So yeah, if you guys enjoy the video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And yeah, let's just get right into it. I just, I started wearing my Brooks about a week and a half, two weeks ago. Um, and the first thing I noticed was that right off the bat, they were pretty supportive. They, uh, they didn't take very long to get used to and they weren't very stiff. So they worked pretty well starting off. Um, I also noticed that they have a lot of cushioning and so that's really nice. Um. Uh, another thing is they have a really cool design like in colorways if you care about how the shoe looks kind of I think it's a pretty uh, cool shoe. It, it's also lightweight, but yet it still it Has a lot of support so you can use it for many workout too. I've been using it on like 400 repeats 800s thousands uh, Tempo runs long runs you can use it on basically any workout because it men's weight is 10 ounces and women's weight is 8 ounces so it's a pretty low weight shoe for how much support it has. What I also noticed is after I ran in the rain, it dried really quickly. So that was a really good upside for me. I can't stand it when my shoes are still damp the next day. One negative that I did notice though is that if I like wore pretty short socks, then the shoes would like pull my socks down and I would usually get a blister right there on my, uh, right on my ankle. So that was uh, one thing that annoyed me a little bit, but that's really the only negative for me. Its price is $120, but you could probably find a pair on eBay or different websites like that for $100 or $110. So the bottom line on this shoe, it has really good support while still having a good and low weight. It's good for any workout. Um, the shoe it reminds me of is my old uh, Nike Pegasus 34. It has the same weight as that shoe, but it has a little bit more support. So it's basically the Pegasus 34, but with more support, which I, I kind of needed that support. So um, it really helped out for me. But yeah, it's it's a really good shoe, guys. Um, a lot of support while still remaining low weight. Uh, works for really any workout, track, or cross country. So I really recommend this shoe to you guys. And uh, I'll leave a link below if you guys want to check it out. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to leave a comment on what other videos or reviews you guys would like to see in the future. Make sure to like the video and subscribe, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.